Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Online Study For You, a complete placement solution. So as you see my basic primary slide, it says TCS NQT 2021 each are interview questions. Before we actually start discussing as to what we have, while I understand all of you will be preparing very hard for your interviews right now, and I'm sure you guys are all looking for help. You're looking for different resources from where you could prepare for your interview so that you could successfully manage to crack your TCS. So do not worry. At online study for you, of course, we have a placement solution for this aspect too. If you log on to online study for you dot in and when you move to premium materials, I urge you to click on PDF. Once you click on PDF, you're going to come on to this page. So if you realize the first box out here, it says crack TCS interview with us. It's got technical as well as HR all topics have been covered, right? And there are various tips and tricks that all of us have shared together according to our years of experience and noticing the TCS pattern. So do not worry about what's going to happen. This particular material that you could only buy for 149, it's, it's um, beneficial for anybody who comes from any stream because we've covered all sorts of different aspects, whether it is your technical, whether it is your managerial, your HR round, and what are the sort of questions that could come? What are the sort of answers that you guys could give out? Many congratulations to everyone who've uh, successfully managed to clear round one. And you guys are due your interviews um, eventually, right? So uh, lots of best wishes from the entire online study for you team. And we really hope that you clear this too and make your space in, in your dream company, which is TCS, right? So... The test pattern that we have, whatever is the latest information, um, there has been an online test and there is going to be an interview round. Now, when it comes to the online test, you guys are already done. So that's thumbs up for you guys. You guys have already cleared it. And when it comes to your interview, I'm expecting you know, two patterns, sort of patterns to definitely come, two sort of question structures to definitely come. One aspect will definitely be your technical aspect, which I am not the correct person to talk about. But the other aspect which will be your human resource or your managerial interview, where they're going to ask you about things which are non-technical in nature. So our today's video is nothing but, um, you know, the HR interview that we are doing. What are the sort of questions and what could be your answers? What could be the things that you need to keep in mind? What is the checklist that I would want you guys to remember? Those are primarily the tips and tricks that I'm going to discuss with you throughout this video. So stay tuned with us, subscribe to our channel, and you will keep receiving information about everything that we're doing subsequently. Now, before anything, uh, this is always my style. I want to get to know why are they doing what they are doing? So if they are conducting an HR round, what is the purpose of that HR round? What is it that they want to accomplish when they talk about an HR round? The first thing is, of course, they want to check your communication skills. Now, remember, um, these interviews are all going to happen virtually. They, none of them are happening physically. So this becomes all the more important because this is, there's no physical communication or contact that they're going to have with any of you. It's going to be completely virtual. And that will give them an exact idea of how you guys would also be as performers because remember we are working for clients and for most clients, we don't even know who they are. They may be you know situated in any part of the world and we are working for them remotely. So they will know that if you are a good communicator, you will be able to communicate with these um, clients or teams well, which are not present physically around you. And that's why communication skills becomes the essence or core of why an HR round happens. So traditionally, anyway, communication skills is important. When it comes to the current situation that we are going through, of course, there is no escape to this, you know. So if you are present virtually, there is no provision to meet you or see you physically, how you how effective you are as a communicator becomes very, very important. Knowledge of the role and company. Uh, this is another thing. So, so how it works is, for example, if there is a certain um, web series that you like, 
I expect you to know about the characters. I expect you to know about the plot. I expect you to remember a few good dialogues. And it's very similar when it comes to sitting for companies like these also, because you are very keen and you've gone through the entire process and the pain of actually sitting for the interview. The company also wants to see whether are you really interested, you know, and if you are really interested, what is the knowledge that you have of the role that they are offering of the company that they are. And this could be as basic as when was the company established, what is the vision, mission, etc. Questions like that too. What is the purpose of the job, which is basically your job description, what are you expected to do, what is it that the company expects you uh, to be performing, how they expect you to be performing, all of these questions, what is the purpose of your job is, you know, what they're looking at. Alignment of your strengths and weakness. Now, uh, remember, there is nobody who will not have a weakness or who will not have some strengths which will actually help them or give them that advantage in the company. But what they try to check or what they try to see is whether your weakness is a direct weakness, you know, to the company. So if I say that I am somebody who's um, got very less focus. Now, less focus is something that might be a challenge for people who are working in this industry because you guys are doing 10 hours or, you know, 11 hours of work. So that may be a challenge. Or for example, if I say my strength is that I'm a very good athlete. Now, being a very good athlete is not going to help TCS in any way, right? So the idea is that with this particular question, they want to try and understand whether the strengths and weaknesses that you have can be aligned in such a way that the company can leverage out of it, or is the company getting affected out of your individual weaknesses? And of course, if you are a stable candidate, what is the sort of salary that you're looking at? So this is basically what they want to gauge you on when it comes to the HR round. Now, the first and the favorite question that everyone's going to ask is going to be, tell me about yourself or introduce yourself, whichever way they want to ask you. Now, this uh, by far students is the most important question because A, here is where they're going to form the first impression about you. B, it is from here that the interview will get navigated. Matlab, if you are saying anything uh, which you can prove or for which you have good examples, then it is going to move that way. What I basically mean to say is that you are the driver of that car there. So with tell me about yourself, you are running the car in a certain direction and it will end up being in a parking space where you want it to be. So this is your chance to take maximum advantage of the situation, right? So the first thing that you need to know is this is your chance to paint the canvas with color. So of course, when they are talking to you, they're going to talk to you with a blank mind. Now, how you have to say what you have to say, what are the things that you want to say? It is your chance to make it colorful. Talk about your personality. You have to steer the interview your way. So the idea is I want to talk about things which will convince them to take me on board, right? So that is why we are, you know, trying to move or trying to put in effort in the first place. You may not have things to say after 20 or 30 seconds. Now, a lot of people think, Ki, let's go in prompto. I don't really need to prepare for this. I'll just go there and I'll answer the question. While I completely appreciate that, and I'm very fond of that approach that you are confident that you can actually speak whatever you have to say, but this needs preparation because you do not want to be in a situation that first 20 seconds you give a solid introduction and at the 25th second you don't know what to say and there's an awkward silence in the room which is why we need to prepare key okay these are the pointers that i have these are the things that i want to talk about no one wants your life history now remember whether you are the first candidate or the 50th candidate the perspective that they have is that they want to listen to you especially this question if you make it very long, people will lose interest. So it's very important that you try and keep things clear, concise and short, right? That is the idea. Even when we draft our own CVs, this is what we say, that we do not want people to have a four page CVs. We do not want people to have a five page CVs. Maybe they've actually done a lot in life. We want them to have a one or a two page CV so that the other person does not get bored. 
do not repeat things from your resume now of course the information that is available to them through your resume we do not want you to keep reiterating or repeating that yes so be very careful about what are the elements that you actually choose to speak about now when it comes to a checklist that i could give you you could talk about your family in short that you have four people and your father has been a businessman your mother has been a homemaker all of that but you do not need to go into details like okay my brother is in standard 10 and he studies in some public school or wherever not required where you come from right and you could think of innovative ways to maybe introduce your place jaipur the pink city kolkata the city of joy um mumbai the city that never sleeps whichever way of course your skill sets i think it's very important to give them maybe pointers talk about two or three skill sets because of course you will get a chance to elaborate them later on anything unique that you have as a hobby like for me um i think the fact that i am amazing with dogs i love being around dogs and i think i can make a connection with any dog that i come across that is something that i feel is unique that po possibly i understand them so things like that if you have and please be specific so if you say photography i want you to say that i do nature photography or i do wildlife photography make it specific because photography in itself is a very very big genre if you say i like dance now dance could be indian classical could be western hip hop could be anything so try and be specific about your hobbies um if you can you can shortly talk about your dream that um, it was always my dream to be able to buy a house for my family and i think now i've started taking the correct steps in that direction something like that the idea out here is to make an elevator pitch so we want you to um, basically express yourself in some 45 to 45 seconds to 1 minute in a way that they remember you that they feel like okay ye banda to kuch mazedar aaya that was nice speaking to this person okay um i've prepared a sample answer and i want you guys to please remember this is sample and this is this of course may not apply to you because i've just spoken randomly about a personality but uh, if there are things that you want to take from here please feel free do not exactly copy paste it reason being this will not be unique according to you so you have to customize this but i'm just giving you a sample answer so i'll just read it out for you i'm a self starter with strong interpersonal skills i work efficiently both as an individual contributor as well as along with a team I seek new challenges and try to think out of the box while looking for creative solutions to a given problem. Besides the details given in my resume, I believe in character, values, vision and action. I'm a quick learner and I believe in learning from my mistakes for I strongly feel that this virtue will take me ahead in life and career. Now what I want you to notice is I've barely barely out here spoken about anything from my resume, be it my educational qualifications, be it my project, nothing. but if you guys want to do that like i said you can customize the entire answer you can mention a few points about who you are as a person your individual qualities and you can couple it with how you have fared in your education what was your project etc so please feel free to customize it according to yourself now next important and favorite question is why should we hire you every company is going to ask you that and tcs will of course ask you this question so the trick or the logic is very simple you can't go there honestly and say bhai naukri chahiye isliye we're not going to do that right so what you need to do is you need to understand what are the position requirements which i'm sure you guys already know because uh, you know about the role and then you have to see which skills of yours actually match these position requirements because if there is something i require let's say i require a um, good cake at my house what am i going to look for i'm going to look for the best bakers who have the best taste who use the healthy in ingredients etc so those are the skill sets that that baker needs that he needs to have the capability to make aesthetically beautiful cakes he needs to deliver good taste and also he needs to use healthy products right so if you know the position requirements you also know what are the skills required to match these position requirements and that's exactly how we are going to look or draft our answers as to why should we hire you now here what you could speak about is it could be your past experiences this may not um, be what what you've done career wise but it may mean let's say if in your college you've been a very proactive um, 
person in handling committees and organizing events so when i mean past experiences i actually mean what you guys have basically done what you've done as a part of your college what you have you been inclined towards any social service etc those are the things i want you guys to talk about of course your educational qualifications that's going to make the base or the core of your technical uh, validation of your technical skill so i want you to talk about that talk about your core skills so if you are good at programming if you're if you are good at some sort of um, I, i do not know exactly what those languages would be but let's say c++ or c++ whatever they need if you are good at that talk about it this is your chance to promote yourself right couple it with soft skills right i do not want somebody who's technically very sound but he's not a team player now that person may not be a very good candidate to hire because eventually he will never be able to work in team atmosphere so things like that couple it with your soft skills for everything that you talk about in this answer my personal suggestion would be always use relevant examples please so ek ek cheez hota hai to just say something and the other thing is you can say that okay i am saying that i'm a good communicator because i've been a part of a debating society for years now and i've won a lot of awards and prizes and therefore i feel this way you know so what i'm trying to say is for anything that you mention if there is a certain validation that you can provide a certain example that you could think of then it it makes more sense it it makes it a perfect story that you would want to listen to now again sample answer not for you guys to copy but just to give you a rough idea sir or ma'am i have all the requisite qualifications and skills i can do the work that the profile requires me to do besides i have the capacity to deliver exceptional results i can blend into mixed cultures and will fit in beautifully which will make me a great addition to the team for a fresher i have the right amount of exposure in this industry as i have completed my internship with whatever xyz company only recently hiring me will be a great value add to your workforce as the organization will keep on gaining with me around right so you could speak of something like this and of course um, here is where you can actually uh, sell your project whatever you have done i think this is a good opportunity to be able to sell your project right uh why do you want to work for us this is another question which keeps coming ki all right we understand why we should hire you but why is it that you want to work for us okay so this is where they want you guys to do tarif tarif meaning their appreciation they want you to basically say all the good things about them so this is your opportunity to talk about the company about the good things of course you talk about their brand image and um why you know working with someone like tata is a matter of pride because it genuinely is i completely believe that that working with tatas is a matter of pride so you talk about the brand image you talk about what is the vision of the company what is the company aiming to do and how and why you specifically align with it right this is guys this is very important because if you cannot align yourself with the vision and mission of the company eventually you will burn out and this will stop making sense to you or you'll switch okay my point is even if you do that for this particular interview you have to be able to crack it which is why we will talk about these elements and you talk about how you will benefit out of working for them but here you want to keep it very short you do not want to say okay this is what your company can do for me this is the salary i'll get this is the exposure i'll get bhai mere liye sab acha hai we we do not want to do that here is that space where we actually want to talk about that they are going to give you that um kick start to your career and they are going to provide you with that opportunity with which you can put the footsteps in the correct place and go where you want to be right so this is again another very nice question that they you you might expect sample answer to this would be that the answer to this question is very simple this job opening at your esteemed organization has the potential to give my personality a boost as well as render me sufficient opportunities to leverage most of my acquired skill sets professionally as well as personally it can bring out the best in me as it will um, let me show my potential also your organization can give me one of the best professional workspace environments to work to my fullest potential and collaborate with experienced professionals i'm sure that once i join here i will grow myself in my career as well as contribute to the organization's overall growth right so this is what you fairly talk about little bit about the organization little bit about you about how you will gain how you can you know actually um benefit out of this opportunity but remember guys the idea is to always stay humble zyada odna nahi hai you have to always 
say what you have to but still sound humble humility is the key when you go for any interviews or in general in life also now this is another one favorite question aayega hi aayega what are your strengths what are your weaknesses so again what i want you to do is i want you to be very strategic and very smart you list your employer's requirements in terms of what they need from you what you do after that is you list all your individual strengths okay now you compare one and two which is the employer's requirements and all your strengths and then you filter because like i was telling you that the fact that i am a good athlete or the fact that i can make good coffee may not serve the company's purpose what they need is communication skills someone who is self motivated someone who can take initiative these are the things that they need so you may have anything which is your employer's requirements but whatever is your strength it needs to be able to cater to the organization's requirement which is why i've listed down steps and then you have to use examples to exemplify your strength so if i say that i'm a very good team player i can say that because i've been a part of several teams and i've been able to um assert myself as a leader and i've been able to deliver result in those teams something like that or i feel that my communication skills are top notch uh, because my juniors have always supported me my seniors have always wanted to be a part of my journey etc whichever way and whatever are your relevant examples now remember that of course since you do not come from a background where you have experience to talk about these are the things that will really play a very important role a few examples that i could give you of strengths could be that the fact that you're a hard working person you're easily adaptable um you are creative in th- in terms of thinking of solutions you have a logical thinking and you are a quick learner okay and for all of this like i said you can take examples you can make stories for example you could you could actually say that i wasn't academically very bright at a point in time but when i realized the value of all of this i started working very hard so i am somebody who will always put in my effort when i understand the value of things so hard working is justified so the idea is for everything if you can actually like i said or uh, give some reference material give an example with which things become clear right what are your weaknesses now i want you to firstly rephrase this question as what you can improve because the company does not actually want to know your weaknesses like i said they want to know if your weaknesses will you know interfere with their scheme of things so i do not want you to actually think about what are your weaknesses i want you to actually think about what are the things that you want to work on or improve or what are the challenges that you may have when it comes to professional workspace so everyone has them i have them pratik sir has them any other human being that i know has them all you need to do is be self aware so it it's more like it's better to have a known devil than an unknown devil that's what the logic is that you will have weaknesses but what's important is you should be self aware of what exactly your weaknesses are you need to talk about what are the actions that you've taken to improve them now remember if i present a problem to you okay it doesn't make sense but if i present a solution to that problem that's when it makes sense only talking about the problem will not help and the same thing happens when it comes to these interviews also that people do not want to know your problems people want to know that okay you identified your problem what are you doing about it which is why whatever actions you are taking for improvement become very important weaknesses that affect their role is their major concern now common weaknesses could be the fact that someone's very spontaneous so they have a tendency to um keep jumping to conclusions without listening someone's very sensitive so they may not appreciate feedback well trust people easily so they indulge in a lot of informal space at the office which may not be healthy for them things like that now a sample answer that i could present you guys with is i have several strengths namely i am patient committed honest and self motivated i am the biggest dreamer i have come across i forgive easily and i hate to keep grudges in my heart my greatest weakness is that i don't like getting interrupted when i'm into something another one of my weaknesses is that i trust people very easily as i already said i'm a very patient person so i'm working actively on this lacuna now like i said see remember a lot of people what they going to do is they going to google answers to this you guys will follow pages you know where you want to get typically the answers to this while i have no problem with that 
बट रिमेम्बर जो पोर्टल से आप प्रिपेयर करते हैं एज एन यू नो एक्टिव रिक्रूटर इवन आई हैव एक्सेस टू दोज पोर्टल सो इट्स नॉट रॉकेट साइंस टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड फिगर इफ यू गाइज एक्चुअली गूगल दो आंसर्स प्लीज डो नॉट कॉपी पेज प्लीज डो नॉट गो इन विद द इम्प्रेशन की भाई वीकनेस तो बताना ही नहीं है वी वॉन्ट टू ओनली टॉक अबाउट आर स्ट्रेंथ एंड वी विल प्रेजेंट आर स्ट्रेंथ ओनली एज वीकनेसेज दैट इज अ नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन अप्रोच थिंग्स हैव चेंज नाउ पीपल वॉन्ट टू वर्क विथ ऑनेस्ट पीपल सो इफ देर आर थिंग्स प्लीज टॉक अबाउट दैम ऑनेस्टली एंड आई थिंक ऑनेस्टी एंड इंटेग्रिटी वेन इट कम्स टू स्ट्रेंथ वीकनेसेज बिकम्स इम्पॉर्टेंट रीजन बींग यू विल बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द कंपनी एंड who knows there may be places where they can help them so for example for me i think i'm very very bad at multitasking that is genuinely my problem and even if i have been trying over years to overcome this i have been able to let's say out of 100 100% i'm 30% there but i still have 70% to go and there is no harm that i have in accepting it so my personal suggestion would be talk about those weaknesses which do not directly concern their role but do not try to come across as someone who has no weakness or who's you know putting their strengths as weakness couple of other questions that i could think about is they will ask you like are you ready to relocate are you to are you ready to work in different shifts now the idea is of course um, at this stage they do not want you guys to be choosers they want to be in a situation where they have the upper hand so they will want answers like yes and nothing else yes we are ready to relocate yes we will work in any shift and i'm sure you guys would also say the same thing but um, like i said it's it's one thing to say something it's another thing to mean it and of course in these interviews they will understand so please be careful about all of that um the last few things that i will talk about is remember because it's going to happen in a virtual environment it's very important that you guys are having proper internet connection your laptop is charged you're sitting in formals now don't assume ki half dikhega to bhai niche boxer pen lo no you can't do that because what if there is a situation where you have to move to another place because the light is not fine sound is not coming etc so please do not put yourself in that situation sit in proper formals it's a matter of 15 20 minutes um now the disadvantage that you guys have is it's it's not face to face right so you might be in a situation where actually their video is off and your video is on you do not even know the expression that they have on their face but keeping that in mind also remember that for you you are supposed to keep smiling and giving answers and where you think it's going out of control do not hesitate to accept it that's a could you give me 10 seconds to think of an answer or 15 seconds to tell you what i want to tell you something like that instead of immediately plunging to the answer where you actually end up giving an answer that you don't want to give right so these are the few things that i would tell you keep please um, keep in mind of all these aspects prepare your answers well i do not mean mug it up but i mean at least have your pointers ready and when you are sitting for the interview try and keep that space completely noise free no disturbance no element because what will happen is otherwise uh, unconsciously also your attention will deviate and you do not want that during the interview with that i wish you guys all the best and please you know comment and tell us as to how um the interview went for you stay connected with us um there will be more material that we would be releasing subsequently and uh, of course i'm sure it's going to help you all uh, better yourself so please keep watching and good luck lots of best wishes i'm going to see you guys soon with another video